Hello everyone, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, uh, today we're playing the Panther II. It's a tier 4 battle rating 6.7 medium tank. Um, it is armed with the same 88mm cannon that the Tiger II is uh, equipped with and is uh, just a variation of the Panther with a beefed engine and the same turret as the Panther F variation. Um, now we're going to be doing, uh, like I said, we're going to be doing something a little different, uh, as in I'm recording the audio, or the commentary in this case, uh, post-recording um, the actual video, so th it's a commentary more like that you would see on uh, Mags TV or uh, Orange Doom or one of the uh, one of the more more popular uh, War Thunder players, but uh, I'm going to do this every now and then. I will be mostly doing uh, live com or live commentary, but uh, I will be doing this every now and then just to uh, just in case I recorded something without like my mic plugged in and I wasn't uh, actively speaking, just you know to get extra content because I would like to get some content on the channel. Um, as you may have seen, we just took a shot from I don't actually know where somewhere in front of me. Um, before scoping it out with my binoculars, I attempt to back up to just escape whatever is trying to attack me, but it looks like whatever attacked me uh, must have moved on after I continued driving past them, so either they don't, they no longer have a line of sight on me, or they've just given up uh, on trying to attack me. Uh, this happens, a, I think, twice. Um, we will be going over two, um, two consecutive recordings, um, both of which happen to be on Fields of Normandy. Uh, which, strangely enough, is uh, whenever I get the Panther II on this map, is uh, I just seem to uh, be an absolute, you know, monster to the enemy team, um, which I found a lot of German teams do on this map, uh, which is kind of ironic given the historical sense of this map. But uh, I make a run for this town too, because I still think at whatever this point, whatever sniped me uh, as I was driving south is probably still keeping a bead on me, so I jumped in here to uh, try and get some uh, cover from whatever is trying to attack me, and I hope that the large hangar in the center of the map is providing enough um, cover for me to, you know, just escape whatever might be uh, around me. And uh, I was hoping to at least snipe from uh, an area I would say is uh, west of A. Um, that's what I was hoping to do, but I realized that if I just sat behind A for the whole game, then we would not cap. Uh, a T-34 gets set on fire and just stops in the middle of a field here. I don't know what he was trying to achieve. I missed my first shot. I pull forward to get a better view of him because I was kind of shooting in a tree there. I see him again, and this lovely reload rate on the 88mm gun has another shell with his name on it. Uh, that detonated both fuel tanks and uh, took him out of the match. Uh, I pull forward to try and get advantage point on a point, the A point itself. Um, there, uh, there was a, I believe it was a T44 that is about to come into view eventually as I as I pull closer to A. Uh, I want to stay behind the trees as much as I can because although the Panther II's armor is fairly decent, it's not really going to protect you from much. Uh, I've been pinned uh, from the front from about anything like a T-92, which is a light tank, um, but it's got a pretty nasty, I think it's a 90 millimeter gun, it's got a very, fairly fairly beefy 90 gun. Um, but I was keeping an eye on my left, kind of kind of stupidly driving out into the, in the open, kind of like that T-34 uh, T did, uh, but at it, it does take me a little while to get my shit together before I re realize how I should be playing. Um, there is the T-44. Uh, we both take shots at each other. His hits me, but it do doesn't penetrate, but I miss him. Uh, I do clip his track there with a little bit of machine gun fire. Uh, and it's not until it's a little too late that I realize there is something to the left of me that is actively trying to shoot me. I'm not sure what it is, but it must not have a very large caliber gun because uh, later on when it does shoot me, it will pen me, but all it does is uh, 
critically injure my commander. So I'm not actually sure what was shooting at me. Um, we may we may find the culprit later on in this video, but I'm not sure if it was the same tank. But uh, we just keep o Overwatch on A here for a second. Um, just watching it real hard as a, I believe it a Tiger II. Yeah, Tiger II H is uh, pushing through the center, uh, and I do believe that he kills the T44 that we uh, saw earlier. There are two TU4s, I believe, uh, flying around. Um, I, I have a bad history with enemy aircraft. Uh, they do like to ground strafe me. Uh, I believe I've had six matches in a row where I was minding my own business and cover while an enemy plane comes out of nowhere and insta kills me with uh, any any variant of uh, some sort of ground attack ordinance. Now you see that one came from, well, I, I'm looking at it now, but I'm not actually, I still don't actually know what shot me. Uh, it does pen, uh, but again, at all it does is injure my gunner and kill the commander. Something does get my track and I quickly turn around before they have a chance to fire again. They must have pulled back, pulled back into cover before, uh, before they could take a second shot, but luckily I turn around enough to protect myself. I do get uh, strafed out by what I believe was a TU-4, but it did fairly insignificant damage. Uh, I keep watch on the hangar because that is where I got tracked from, or at least that's where I believed I got tracked from. That's where I still think I got tracked from. I do take a rather vain attempt at trying to shoot down this TU-4. Uh, I, uh, I know I don't, but... Uh, Man, at the time, it felt like I was pretty close, though. Yeah, well, looking back at it, it doesn't seem that good, but I probably could have done it if I was a little better. But, uh, A has been fully capped. There is a Tiger II on the point and a Panther II rolling a little bit to the, uh, I guess, the south of the point, um, trying to stay from the cover and uh, making sure nothing from the tree line comes in. Because there is a fairly copious amount of trees in front of A, as you can see right there. And uh, it's very difficult to see anything in them. And uh, there are a few kills that I get here are, that are by sheer luck that the enemy didn't see me. Uh, and I just barely saw them. I pull forward and I, unfortunately the Tiger II that had gone through all the effort of capping was uh, completely obliterated by an airstrike. Uh, one of, the, one of the two TU-4s that were in the area. And again, in an arrogant uh, or stupid uh, attempt, I just rush forward out into the open, uh, east of A, and <laughs> by, I can only imagine luck or God's grace that I noticed the, um, this M4 light tank before he noticed me, or M1, I can't read that. Um, he did. I think he did hit me, but he didn't pen. Uh, I do realize my mistake when shots come in from the north, and I was at this point I realize, yeah, I'm playing far too aggressively for this tank. And uh, I do take a quick pot shot, but no hits and no idea where the enemy could be. I just want to turn back to A, uh, and there is a small road in a ditch which I hide in for the rest of the match. Um, but I do secure two more kills uh, in this ditch. Um, behind me, a Panther F is slowly making his way forward. Um, I know that there must be at least... Or well, I guess he stopped. I know uh, in the area I'm pointing, north of A, uh, slightly uh, east of the hangar, uh, in the tree line there is at least one enemy tank. I'm uh, fairly aware of that, um, but I also make sure to watch the tree line in front of me, or, well, rather to the uh, east of me, to ensure that nothing comes out and, you know, kills me while I'm looking to the north. Uh, so, using the binoculars, I do just kind of scout back and forth between the two tree lines that could, you know, either one could pose great threat to me. Um, I do take a quick look into this guy to see if uh, the TU-4s are lining up anywhere. 
the Panzer IV uh, moves past me and I keep on watching and I see machine gun fire going out from either going out or going into the tree line in front of me so or the tree line north of me so I turn the tank and just kind of probe with machine gun fire I know it would give away my position if someone was to the east of me in the other tree line but I wasn't really caring at this point because I you know I just want to kind of wanted to get the kill so I line up to where I just probe a little bit more with the machine gun line up to where I think the enemy is and look at that managed to find him hiding in those trees I didn't even see him it was only by the fact that I could you know manage to uh, manage to find him with the machine gun uh, and uh, our Panther F has taken some shots by a T-92 light tank. He does not see me, but I uh, caught him very quickly. Um, and uh, this match is pretty much done for. There's not much going on in the rest of this match. Uh, I don't get another kill, or at least I do get another kill, but it's after the match ended and it, the game doesn't count it, so I won't count it. So a four-kill match, and... Uh, fairly fairly uh, uneventful match as far as things go four kills is pretty good but nothing spectacular uh, I just uh, our Panther F did get killed and uh, we just kind of spend this time just uh, you know trying to, to make make sure the a cap is uh, covered there's a little bit of rage in the chat there uh, but this is how you defend, so you're going to get mad at me for doing my job. Then again, it is the other team, so that's unfortunate for them. Just to make sure for my other comrades, I do set that T-92 on fire, just to make, sh just to let everyone know that it's uh, not posing a threat to anyone. And uh, this recording should end. Actually, come on. And that was a victory for the match, four kills. Um, I didn't, unfortunately, I did not save the stat card for that one, and neither did it for the second one. And into the second match. Also on Fields of Normandy, it is, uh, again, still a conquest map, but uh, instead it is taking place at the hangar in the center of the map. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, I whenever I get the... Uh, the Fields of Normandy map, it just seems like a total curb stomp in either my favor or the entire German teams. But, uh, hey, I ain't complaining, so. I, uh, in case you're wondering why I'm doing this, uh, I just recently got the Panther II and, uh, fallen in love with it very quickly. Um, and this is, this is my eventual grind to the Leopard, which I very, very excited for and excited for the 1.63 patch that it's the new Leopard and the uh, 88 millimeter flat truck or flat calf track and all the other glorious German vehicles that will be well actually all the vehicles because I'm uh, pretty interested in the two Japanese heavy fighters that they just recently got so uh, I might take a look at them um, but you know you never know probably take me a while to grind to them so we start out at the southern spawn point and what I want to do much like the last match, I want to drive to the town uh, that is, well, in the middle of the two spawns. It's not really a town, it's just like a small, uh, small cusp of houses. Um, but I stay behind the hills this time. I don't want to get sniped. This I actually recorded this match before the other match. Um, so I actually get this, uh, I got this match before, uh, the match in which I was getting sniped from uh, the east. But uh, taking it fairly slowly, um, I am very much aware that the Panther's armor is, although, yeah, again, decent. It's tr nothing truly special and uh, is, is, it is quite easily to get killed if you're, not be if you're not paying attention and you're not being careful. And uh, something I found in this tank that works particularly well is being overcautious. Um, you know, if you think a tank might be there, you should go with, you know, you should go with your assumption and say there's probably a tank there. Flank around that spot just to make sure. 
because if you let your guard down, it could cost you your life. Um, and that's happened to me on more than one occasion. So I just scout out the hangar a little further, just to make sure that there's not any possible enemies lurking in the tree lines. I do know that there is two enemies hiding, or at least two, uh, I do learn that it will be two early on, or later on in this match, hiding north of the hangar, right next to it, hiding from enemies to the, or from our team to the south. Um, there's a small house uh, right to the east of the hangar, which I'm heading towards. Um, I use it as cover from enemies that might be to the north because I don't want to get flanked from uh, their northernmost spawn, uh, or enemies that have come from the northernmost spawn. But I do put myself in relatively large, uh, and in, into a relatively large field of fire for anything to the south. But luckily, nothing sees me. Uh, because I stay just stealthy enough that no one actually, uh, no one notices my presence. Um, I stop here at the building. A T-34 has noticed me. He fires once. I fire back. Fortunately, it did not go too well for him. Um, scouting around. I know that there is an enemy to the south of me, uh, and I will try to engage it, but... As far as I know, I think a Panther D takes it out later on in this match. I do do a little bit of probing, uh, just to see if there's anything uh, in my immediate view. A See, uh, there was a little skip there. Um, it was another M4, or M1A1, or whatever the hell it was, the American light tank. Uh, the skips in the recording was because I joined a party at this time. I wasn't actually recording, and it was just... Uh, talking to one of my friends at this point, but do try to take a little bit of uh, a few shots at it, the whatever enemies to the south, but I do think the Panther D that just got the kill on the T-44-100 was, uh, was the end to whatever it was down there. Uh, so I push forward to the hangar to try and uh, take out whatever enemies may be hiding to the north of it, uh, using it as cover from the south. Uh, Pull forward, take a quick look, Just probe for probe with machine gun rounds. I do that a lot. Um, I it's it's kind of funny for someone like me who's always tries to hide in the shadows to use machine gun fires because the tracers are quite obvious. But I found that it's better than wasting shells from your main gun to do that. So, we find an IS-2 and a KV-2. Uh, I take a shot at the IS-2, but it does not, does not pen. Uh, the IS-2 takes a shot back, but it doesn't pen either. And knowing that his, he, his reload will be far longer than mine, I aim and end him. Killing just about every single person in his tank, also. So, move forward again. Still trying to hide in the shade of the trees, uh, as enemy aircraft do have uh, quite a hard on for me, or at least in other matches they do. I, s I notice a T-92, and again, by the grace of God, he does not notice me, and I aim the shot, take him out. I get ra a again, and I believe that the, the reason he did not see me was... I, at least I would like to think it was because I was hiding in the tree line in the shade and uh, the Panther 2's quite modern camo uh, I do actually believe helps it's it's not painted bright tan like the Tigers or the Tiger 2's uh, or in some of the Tiger or some of the other Panthers so I do believe that its current or its uh, stock camouflage is quite good uh, this KV-2 will be my final kill and the ace for my Panther 2. Um, I assume he did not have fire protection equipment, so he just kind of backs up. I don't get a third shot on him, but I do get the kill. And that will be the match. We do uh, we do cap and win, so uh, that'll be it. That's, uh, that's the match, and that's two Panther 2 recordings in one video. Uh, nice, little, nice little video. If you liked it, uh, subscribe for more.